Hello, welcome to the brand new section of this course, Configuring IPv6. Let's have an overview of the section. We'll begin by setting up an IPv6 tunnel via Hurricane Electric, then look at how to use IP6 tables to firewall your IPv6 traffic, and finally route an IPv6 net block to your local network. So let's start with the first video of this section, which is setting up an IPv6 tunnel via Hurricane Electric. In this video, we will first visit tunnelbroker.net and click sign up now, then enter our IP address under IPv4 endpoint and finally collect the local and remote IPv4 and IPv6 addresses provided by HE's website and use them to populate your configuration. Hurricane Electric is a major backbone and co-location provider based in the US. In addition to their hosting or transit services, they also host tunnelbroker.net, another free IPv6 tunnel provider, and ipv6.he.net slash certification, a training and certificate site for learning about IPv6 networking. Unlike a year tunnels from 6XS, IPv6 tunnels from Hurricane Electric operate over IP protocol. 4.1, which is defined by the IPv6 encapsulization protocol. This is a separate protocol from ICMP, TCP and UDP. The downside of this approach is that it does not operate over NAT firewalls natively. This may be an issue if your new firewall device is operating behind an ISP firewall with its own NAT. The ability to forward protocol 4.1 traffic to a machine behind the NAT is device specific and does not work on all firewalls. Nice, we got some basic idea, now let's see how to do it. Visit tunnelbroker.net and click sign up now and sign up for a free account. Under user functions click create regular tunnel. You may create up to five tunnels. Enter your IP address under IPv4 endpoint. Select a tunnel endpoint which is close to you. Collect the local and remote IPv4 and IPv6 addresses provided by HE's website and use them to populate your configuration. For Ubuntu or Debian systems, you can then configure the interface in ETC, network, interfaces, and add these lines. For configuring on the command line, you can use this. Put your server IPv4 address here. Now add client IPv6 address here. Cool, now let's see how it works. Hurricane Electric IPv6 tunnels use the standard 6-in-4 tunnel protocol that's built automatically into both NetTools and IP Route 2. Additionally, Debian and Ubuntu have support for 6-in-4 built directly into their network initialization scripts, which allow for simplified configuration. IP tunnel add he-ipv6 mode sit remote serve RIPv4 local local IPv4 TTL255. This command adds a simple internet transition tunnel known as SIT, which is represented as an interface named HE-IPv6. SIT tunnels require that you provide both the local and remote IPv4 addresses. IP link set HE-IPv6 up bringing up our new HE-IPv6 interface. IP ADDR add local IPv6 dev HE-IPv6. Assign your local IPv6 address to that interface. Fantastic! In this video we have learned setting up an IPv6 tunnel via Hurricane Electric.